Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I want to talk to you guys some more about objects and classes. So in the last tutorial, I showed you guys how to create this student object and this student class over here. So just to really drive home this point about objects and classes, I want to create another class in this tutorial. And hopefully that can kind of just like solidify in your minds what these things are. So I'm going to get rid of all this code and what I want to do in this tutorial is model a book inside of our program. So I'm basically going to create like a book data type inside of our program. And then we'll be able to like create different books and we'll be able to define different attributes about those books. So in order to do that, I just want to come over here and I'm going to create a new class. So I'm just going to say new and I'm going to go over here to class and we're going to create a book class. So I'm just going to call it book and then down here we'll just click finish. So Eclipse, in my case, is automatically going to go ahead and create this book.java file and this public class book. Inside of this class, we want to basically define what a book is going to be inside of our program. So we want to give this book different attributes and we can use those attributes to essentially just represent the book inside of our program. So let's start thinking like, what are some attributes in a book? Well, one would just be like the title. So we can say string title. Um, we can also have the author. So I could say string author and we can define like number of pages. So we could say like, that's going to be an integer like pages. And we could also define like the language the book is written in. So I could say string language. So these are four basic attributes that we can define about our book. So basically what I'm saying here is that inside of our program, a book is going to have a title, an author, a page and a language. So a book is going to be composed of a title, an author, the number of pages and a language. So what I want to do now is I want to go out and I want to create instances of this class. In other words, like this class is just defining like a template of what a book is and we can create individual books inside of our programs and give them, you know, attributes like title, author, pages and language. So why don't we do that? I'm going to go over to this app.java file and this is where I have my main method. And in here, I'm going to create a new book object. So basically, I'm going to create an instance of that book class. I'm just going to create a book inside of my program. So I can just say book. So I'm defining the type of data that I want to store. So I want to create a book and we'll just say like book one is equal to and we can just say new and book. So this is essentially allowing us to create a book inside of our file. And down here I can give book one specific attributes. So I can basically say like, here's the title of the book. Here's the author of the book. Here's how many pages it is. And here's the language it's written in. So I could create this book. I'll say like book one dot title and we can just set this equal to like Harry Potter. And then we'll say book one dot author. We'll set this equal to JK Rowling. We can also say book one dot pages. So let's say the book has like, I don't know, 500 pages or something. And then the last one was language. So we can say book one dot language and that's just going to be English. So essentially what I've done is I've created a book inside of my program and I've given that book certain attributes. So I've given it a title, I've given it an author, I've given it pages and I've given it a language. So now this book one variable essentially just represents a book inside of our program. And if I wanted to, I could create another book object and model another book. So I'm just going to come down here and we'll make book two. So why don't we make this book something else? We can just change all these to book two. And why don't we make this uh, like the four hour work week by Tim Ferriss. So the author is going to be Tim Ferriss. And let's say that it's like, I don't know, 300 pages and it's written in English. So now inside of our program, we have two books that we can use. So I can actually print out and access both of these books down here in a print statement. So I could say like system dot out dot print line and we can just access like book one dot title. 
So I can come over here and just click the run button and this will give us the title of the first book, which is Harry Potter. Or we could do like book two dot pages. And this will tell me how many pages are in book two. So it's 300. And so essentially what we did is we created a new type of data in our program, right? We created a book class and then we were able to create instances of that class. So we were able to create like individual books that we can represent inside of our program. And so now I can just represent a book inside my program and I can basically just use it. And that's really how classes and objects come in handy. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.